Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Edwin Martinez again, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the Facebook Live uh, yesterday of the uh, newest full-frame mirrorless camera of Canon, the Canon EOS R. Okay, so you can see it here. It's a beautiful camera, well designed, and uh, optics. The, op the the features are really really good. So. A lot of you were asking about high ISO performance and I'd like to tackle them today in this video. We did some uh, test shots yesterday of, uh, of uh, Skylines, okay? And I tested it in different ISO and I'd like to share this, uh, the output. So um, the problem with, with the new camera is that it has no raw support yet. So most of the and so I, sh I shot at RAW plus JPEG, and unfortunately, there's no update yet from Adobe, so it can't read the CR3. And there's also no support yet available on the Canon DPP software, and even the Adobe DNG converter. So most of my uh, initial testing or impressions on the high ISO would be based on JPEG, okay? Um, of course, JPEG, uh, there's some uh, processing done by the processor and um, it would have, uh, of course, a different, different result from uh, CR3, okay? So uh, this is just an initial test and um, probably will do more once Adobe has updated their camera raw and Canon has released the DPP software, the latest, okay? So, what are the basis of my test? So, I shot a different ISO at f11. I found that f11 is the sharpest at the, the lens that I use, which is the RF24105 f4. Okay, so let's first take a look at ISO 100. So, this was shot at f11 uh, at uh, 56 seconds ISO 100. You can see it on the left side of your screen. Okay, so let's to, uh, this is a hundred percent, hundred percent zoom or a hundred percent of full view. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in at a certain spot. There, this is a hundred percent or two hundred percent. Sorry, so the one hundred percent is this one, and the two hundred percent is this. Okay. And you can still see details here, city land, okay? Imagine that. So from here to here, this is how sharp the RF lenses are and how good the image quality of the Canon EOS are. Noise at ISO 100, of course, it's really clean. You can see details and there's no luminance or chromatic noises, okay? There, so it's really good, okay? Well, expected ISO 100. Let's move on to ISO 800. Okay, this is ISO 800. There we go. Again, this one was shot at F8, uh, 8 seconds, F11. And you would see that the file of the ISO 100 and 800 in terms of noise is practically the same. Believe it or not, it is identical, okay? The noise levels are almost identical. Again, let me repeat it. On a JPEG file, ISO 100 and 800, in my opinion, are almost identical. And you can still see Cetaland here, okay? Shadow noise, look, okay? None. Okay, so that's, that's quite surprising that ISO 100 and 800 would share almost the same uh, noise handling levels. Okay, now we go to uh, ISO 1600, which is this one. So again, F11, 5 seconds, 1600. So let's go to Cityland. Now you would see some uh, a little bit of noise at 1600, but very minimal. Okay, very very minimal. Yeah. 
Okay. Now we move to 3200. Uh, so I use 3200 because this was the most often used ISO that I use when shooting Northern Lights. If I want to push it and I want more more light coming in, you no. Know? So and the noise is manageable. So I'd like to see if the noise here is also manageable. Wow. Look at that. So this is taken at uh, 200 percent. Uh, the, the, the zoom is 200 percent. I want to go to uh, 100 percent. And you can see that it's still clean at ISO 3200. It's like you're looking at an ISO 800 file of the 5D Mark IV. Okay, I just base it there so for the 5D Mark IV users they would know they would have a reference. Okay. Wow. 200%. Wow. The details are really really good and noise are at 3200 ISO it looks like ISO 800 and 1600 or 1600 of the 5D Mark IV which is very very impressive okay now I'd like to go to 6400 okay so let's see let's start off with the hmm not bad not bad so I'm seeing the files uh, for the first time also so look at this okay details are still there there's a little bit of smudges due to noise but it's like a 1600 file of the 5D Mark IV Okay, so it's two, so 1600, 3200, 64, it's a two stop improvement. Wow. Look at that, 6400. And noise is very, very minimal or manageable. Wow, this is getting me excited. Let's see the 12,800 ISO. Okay, this one I want to see. Um, at the full view, you could see a little bit of noise here and here. But when you zoom in, you can see uh, yeah, considerable noise. But it's like looking at a 3200 ISO file. This is what a 3200 ISO file looks like when we're using it to shoot the Northern Lights or the Milky Way. And it is amazing at 12,800. I think you can manage this. Okay, of course, this is a JPEG file. It's already interpolated and processed. Okay, but again, this is impressive. Okay, nice. I think this is still usable, very, very usable. Okay, with a little bit of noise reduction, you can use this at ISO 12800. Okay, so initial test is really impressive. Uh, so again, to summarize my own findings based on a JPEG file, ISO 100 uh, and 800 are almost the same. And that's, that alone is very impressive. 1600 to 3200, same. They also looks the same, which is really, really impressive because it looks like an, an, uh, from the 5D Mark IV, the 3200 file looks like a 1600 uh, ISO from the 5D Mark IV. What is surprising is the 12,800 ISO, which is noisy, but again, very manageable. Okay, there's, uh, there's a little bit of uh, luminance noise, color noise a little bit. Okay, and uh, again, these are basing on my own practical review, and I don't have any scientific way of testing it. So you have to watch out for it in uh, other people's review those with uh, more technical analysis okay so again thank you very much and uh, i'll discuss shadow recovery or dynamic range in the future but uh, i hope you enjoyed this thank you very much